Hey guys, it's Sarah Tutorials, and I'm bringing you guys a very exciting tutorial today. Uh, we're finally working out of Cinema 4D, and we're working in Photoshop today. So, uh, in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create this uh, nice sunset or sunny glow, whatever you call want to call this effect. Um, it's a pretty cool uh, looking effect, and here you can see I turned this picture from what it is right here to this I guess a little bit cooler um, so let's start this tutorial uh, by opening up Photoshop and just drag our picture in to Photoshop by the way all the files this picture including this picture and the flares uh, will be available for download in the description of this video so uh, once you have this picture in here it's gonna be classified as a background uh, because it's the only layer that is in here and it's gonna have a lock bar uh, it's gonna be locked so um, to unlock it double click on this lock bar and name it whatever you want then click OK and once you've done that, uh, we need to put a photo filter in here. Uh, so you can see these icons here at the bottom. One of them is a circle that's black and white. And if you click on it and hold, it'll pop up this window right here. And uh, one of the options will be photo filter. Select that. And uh, here in photo filter, select color and change the color to a little bit uh, brighter orange than what it is as default so again select the color and change the color to a little bit brighter uh, orange and change the density put it to all the way to 100 select preserve luminosity if it's not selected okay uh, now let's duplicate uh, the picture layer so uh, right click on the picture layer and select duplicate layer and name it whatever you want again and then drag this layer over all of our uh, layers that we have and uh, select this layer if it's not selected and go to filter uh, blur and Gaussian blur and change the radius to 5.9 pixels and click OK and now uh, change the blending mode of this layer to uh, soft light okay so this gives us a little bit of a uh, dreamy look it's still we're still not there with the actual effect but the next part is going to be vital to creating our uh, final effect so uh, create another layer uh, on this layer we're going to fill it with uh, orange so change the color to orange right here select orange and select uh, uh, paint bucket tool if it doesn't show up as a paint bucket tool it will show up as a gradient tool but we don't want gradient just select paint bucket tool and uh, just click on the new layer that we created click on the screen actually but you know with a new layer selected so it's gonna fill it up fill the new layer up with this orange now let's change the blending mode of this layer to let's try hard light I think that looks cool either hard light or vivid light uh, both of them are pretty much the same and put down the op opacity to 85 percent and uh, then select this layer with this layer selected go to uh, layer mask with that's the little icon at the bottom and it's it's like a square and in the middle of it is a circle 
so click click on that and it will create a layer mask for this uh, orange layer and select the layer mask th thumbnail right here make sure it's selected just click on it select it and then go to go select uh, the brush tool and change the brush size until it's fairly large again depending on the picture this uh, the size of the picture that you're using and select the color to be black and change the opacity to 50% and just click on wherever in the screen where you don't want the effect to be really strong so I would usually do that in somewhere in the middle of the screen and in the horizon because we don't really want too much orange in the horizon that will not look really cool okay so we got our outline here outline of uh, orange glow here okay so now I'm not really sure what to do now uh, maybe I should add a flare right now so again the flare is going to be in the description I'm not really going to go into who I got it from because I don't want this tutorial to be too long but yeah just use the flare grab it and just uh, put it in uh, put it in here for some reason it's not I wouldn't go in here why well, wouldn't do that maybe let's click enter and let's deselect all of our layers okay so make sure that you deselect all of your layers when you put it in there so it goes in okay so now <laughs> you can see that uh, this layer is obviously covering all the rest of the layers so what you want to do is uh, put this layer below First of all, let's click enter to place it, but then put this layer below uh, our duplicated uh, duplicated picture layer, the actual picture that we duplicated. So put it below that layer, and now you can see it's creating a little bit of a blur effect, but uh, this sun is in the middle of the screen, so that doesn't look really good. So let's drag it up somewhere in the corner. Uh, either that corner or this corner but it looks better to be in this corner because you can see there's a mountain and it kinda goes into the corner so we want the Sun to be like behind the mountain a little bit okay and now let's uh, grab an erase tool and click on the layer and click OK and change the erase tool to uh, the size to a pretty large size uh, so that we can create a really gradient uh, edge so and now start deleting this edge and don't go in too far into the picture or else you'll just uh, delete the picture but make sure there's no crisp line around the picture that you can notice really well okay so that's pretty cool uh, now we can tell that this is still covering the picture a little bit too much so what we want to do is change the blending mode of this flare so uh, select the flare layer and change the blending mode to uh, let's try soft light no no not soft light hard light seems to be good uh, Linear light seems to be pretty cool too. Let's try some more. Uh, overlay seems to be working the best for me. Uh, I would I, if I was doing this. <laughs> I'm already doing this, but excuse me. If I was if I were you, then I would have put the uh, the blending mode to overlay. Uh, so. We're pretty much done here with this picture. As you can see, it's almost identical. 
and excuse me that's my parrot there if you can hear him in the background uh, yeah it's pretty much almost identical to this picture so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this was useful and please thumbs up the video it helps me a lot since I do this for free and yeah see you guys